Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The subjugation of women, 1869, is an important text of John Mill, G. Mill. Which one of the following by the Tennyson poem is a melodrama? Maud. The lion she dwells with a beauty, and a beauty that must be occurs in a Keats ode on melancholy. Negative capability to Keats means to emphasize. Arts for the arts' sake found in the true adherent, adherent in Oscar Wilde. It was the best time, it was the worst of the time, it was the worst, is the opening of the Dickens' Hard Times. The character Little Neil is a creation of Oscar Wilde. Idlus of the King is an illustration of Tennyson's deep interest in the role of the king. Who believed the poetry is a spontaneous overflow of the powerful emotions? William Wordsworth, who after the publication of the poem awoke and found himself a famous Byron. The image of the fame fatale, fame fatale dominates the theory of John Keats. Little Time is a character in Hardy's, which is the famous elegy written by the Shelley, Adonis. The moral choice is everything in the works of the Charles Dickens. Which one of the following is illustrative of Ruskin's interest in the social economy? Unto this last. Which one of the following poets named the romantic poets as the pond poets? Southey. The charge of the light brigade Tennyson's commemorates the Crimean War. The Elgin marbles inspired Keats to write Lamia. Would you tell Sordello as a Browning's as a dramatic lyric? Which one of the following poets was appointed poet laureate in the year of 1813? Southey. Shakespeare's Hamlet is a tragedy. Ernest Hemingway has written Old Man and the Sea. Who wrote The Gulliver's Travel? Jonathan Swift. Which one of the following is a dramatist? Ben Johnson. Which one of the following is not a play by the Shakespeare? Dr. Foster's. E.M. Foster is a novelist. Pickwick Papers is a novel by Charles Dickens. Who wrote The Jane Eyre? Charlotte Bronte. Bronte. After whom is the Elizabethan age is named Elizabeth I. What is the name of the Wordsworth long poem, The Prelude? Poem mourning some one's death is called elegy. Which one of the following is not a tragedy written by the Shakespeare, Merchant of the Venice? Who wrote The Second Coming, W. B. Yeats? What period in English literature is called the Augustan age? early 18th century, which play among the following plays is not a blank verse, Pygmalion, who one of the following writers is not a woman, Robert Browning, who is the villain of the Hamlet, Claudius, who kills Macbeth in the play Macbeth, Macduff, which is the last Shakespeare's greatest tragedies, King Lear, who is the heroine of Shakespeare's play Hamlet, Ophelia, Romantic, romanticism, if it can be pinpointed, is usually assumed to date from the publication of lyrical blades, ballads and its preface. Which one of the following would a romantic poet be most likely to use? An, an airy fairy. Wordsworth poetry always reflects the creation of the abstract, abstract concepts. The creation Byron poetry Byron's poetry is ambiguous and has a vividness of phrasing which sometimes reaches the false reaches the point of abstraction. True. English Bards and Scotch reviewers is a satirical attack on contemporary writers who had annoyed Byron. True. In eighteen fifty Tennyson succeeded Wordsworth as a poet laureate. True. Mary Annie Evans is their person as George Eliot. True. True. 
Keats widespread appeal is to the readers interest in the supernatural false the literary figure who had the most pronounced effect on the Keats was Shakespeare Shelley was the firm believer in the fall of in the all of the following except the human conduct based on the conviction Shelley's poetry used all the following components for the themes except worship of God the prose of the romantic periods had a tendency to objectify the issue in the terms of the cause Charles Lamb's Dream Children is a notable for its crushing tragedy the Victorian age can be dated by the which of the following events Tennyson's poem chiefly lyrical in 1830 to the death of the Queen Victoria 1901 which of the following works had a greatest influence on the Victorian age Carlyle's Sartre Resortus in which of the following genre did Victorian literature achieve its greatest success the novel right who wrote Shakespeare's later comedies Palmer DJ which one of the following is not a dramatist Iliad which one of the following is not a play by Shakespearean Pygmalion who is the author of the after strange gods Iliad who is the villain in Hamlet Claudius who is the heroine of the Hamlet Ophelia after the, whom the Elizabeth age is named Elizabeth one who wrote the common pursuit Lewis Levi's FR Paradise Lost is an epic poem by Milton after apple picking is written by Robert Frost Ernest Hemingway wrote the old man in the sea intellectual beauty is written by the PB Shelley who wrote 20 century views Palmer DJ desert places is a poem university wits were the playwrights William Shakespeare was born in 1564 Francis Bacon died in 1626 the period between 1660 to 1750 is known as the restoration period who wrote the pilgrims progress John Bunyan the conduct of the alleys is a famous work of Samuel Jones the abstract theory of utility realism is the theme of the Charles Dickens novel hard times the the one who remains the one who remains the many change and pass heavens light forever shines earth shines fly the above lines to occur in Shelley's Adonis name the character of the novel of Thomas Hardy which is much like Oedipus King Lear and the Faust and Faustus Dr. Faustus Hunchard she can not fade though though has not thy bliss forever wilt thou love and she be fair the above two lines have been taken from the ode on Grecian urn withdrawal from an uncongenial world of escape either to death or more than more than more often to an ideal dream world is a theme of Tennyson's the Lotus Eaters Philip Wakem Aunt Pell Pullet and Tom Tulliver are the character of G. Eliot's novel The Mill on the Floss. In all things, in all natures, in the stars, this active principle abides by. Identify the poet and his peculiar belief that can be understood from the above lines. Wordsworth and belief is pantheism, worship that admits all gods. The damnation, thy damnation slumbers not. Name the writer, his book, author Christopher Marlowe, and the character who uttered and wrote these words. Book Dr. Foster's In Memoriam by Tennyson. In Memor Memoriam by Tennyson is a collection of elegies. The poem The Marriage of the Heaven and the Hell 
was written by the black william black unto this last is a book written by ruskin and on social reforms matthew arnold said an ineffectual angel beating in the void his luminous wings in the vein about the shelley for whom it is said sensuousness is a paramount bias of his genius john keats meeting at night by the browning is a dramatic lyric lyric a pioneer in psychological analysis in fiction is g h eliot george eliot thou glorious mirror where the almighty's form glasses itself in the tempest the above line occurs in byron's waterloo dickens gives a tragic picture of the french revolution in his novel a tale of two cities love political freedom love of politic political freedom always the noblest of byron's passions inspired him to write the prisoner of the chillon an aesthetic delight in the art and a streak of extreme sadistic cruelty can be observed in browning's poem my last duchess edward 